Hi, everyone. Gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. wants to have her own room. Maruko! You made a mess in the room again! Clean it up quickly! No way, sis. It's way more convenient to keep it messy. And I prefer it this way. The one who wants to have a clean room needs to clean. A friend of mine is coming today. I'm going to use this room, so you need to clean it. <sighs> oh. oh, I have pain in my back. Ugh, I'm gonna throw this thing away. This isn't your own room, you know, so don't leave your side a mess, understand? Whatever. Don't be so bossy. You're so obnoxious and hysterical. Hey, how dare you say that to me? I'll get you. Oh, you're scary. You'll be the leader of the Mean Girls in the future. Ah! Get out of here right now! And you stay away from this room for all of today! Oh, I got scolded by Sis again for something. What a dummy Maruko is. But cheer up and keep fighting. I'm just kidding, anyway. <laughs> ah, Maruko. And where are you going? Oh, hi, Grandpa. Poor Maruko. I got kicked out of my room again. <laughs> but I'm all right. Although I do feel lonely. Maruko. Well, what are you going to do now? Oh, I don't know what I'll do, Grandpa. I guess I'll just wander around the neighborhood looking for reliable friends. Oh, I see. Maruko! Huh? I know this is very little, but take it and go get something. Hey? Grandpa! Take care, Maruko! Oh, Grandpa! Tama-chan! Let's play together! Yeah! <laughs> Great! Fantastic! This bed looks like it's for a princess! <laughs> I know, right? I like it very much. I got the curtain changed to a lace one, so it looks more suitable for spring. Pretty! I envy you so much, Tama-chan. You have your own room, and it's big. Maybe I should ask my parents if I can finally have a room of my own. Yeah, try it. It can't hurt. I'm home! Hey, Mom. Hmm? I have something important to ask you and Dad later. <laughs> She's going to ask for something again. A hunch strikes Mom that she isn't going to like it. Listen, Dad and Mom, I want to finally have my own bedroom. No way. Drop it. Come on, please. Ah. You see, I'm so afraid I won't be able to concentrate on studying if I keep sharing a room with Sis. Oh, please. That should be my line. Uh, Sis, when did you get here? In any case, we don't have an extra room in our house now. So no matter what you say, it's physically impossible. No way! Ugh. Then just do something about this living room! My future depends on having my very own room! Enough! What nonsense are you talking about? Or maybe you can build an annex? And just who would be paying for the new construction? All right, fine. I'll compromise with you. I'll settle for getting a new bed, okay? 
And don't speak like you're doing me a big favor. You didn't have any space for a bed to begin with. And besides, you move a lot in your sleep. You may fall down and end up getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everything will remain as the way it is. Am I clear, Maruko? <laughs> In this world, there are things you can do something about and things you can do nothing about. Sometimes you think about the luck and misfortune you were born with, and you may feel how small your existence is. You know that I dislike sharing this room with you too, but I'm enduring it as best as I can. Oh, come on. You're a dog face. How dare you? You're short and clumsy and you're a huge brat. Well, that's just fine with me. The next day... You know, I've always thought that it's important to have your own private space. I'm super into ethnic things now, so my room is decorated with interesting things which give it an exotic mood. Huh? What exactly do you mean by exotic mood? Wait a sec, I know. Is it like a bar or a club? Uh, you mean you don't understand what I mean by exotic things? It means something associated with foreign culture. Huh? Foreign culture? Look. This is a picture of my new bed. Amazing! It looks like it was meant for an Indian king. Uh, I want to have a bed. I want to lounge around my bed and sleep like an Indian princess. Uh, Maru-chan, you know Hanawa-kun is special, right? Don't dream the impossible. You know what, guys? I use a built-in closet for my bedroom, Boo. Uh... It's really fun, Boo! A built-in closet? That could be a good idea. I'm home! <laughs> I remember the upper part of the built-in closet of this room is empty. Ah, it's empty as I thought. If I put my futon and a night lamp here, it'll be a perfectly cozy room. My futon is heavy, but I need to work hard to carry it. And the next thing I need is a night lamp. I have to run for my dream of a cozy new bedroom. It's done! <sighs> it looks like a castle. Now, I'll just close the door and turn the light on. <sighs> this is such a nice mood. Am I a princess? Or a fancy citizen of a fantasy land? If I wrap a blanket over me like this, I'll become more like a beautiful princess from India. Maruko! And what's this? I faintly hear a voice calling my name in the lonely desert. Maruko! But this is also an illusion. Maruko! Maruko! Where did you go, Maruko? Oh my. I don't see her in this room, either. Ooh, a cord is sticking out from the built-in closet. I wonder what it is. Did Grandma put something in there? No! It's a monster! Boy, OK. Grandpa just fainted. What a troublesome Grandpa he is. It's me, Maruko! Oh. Uh, oh. Maruko! You shouldn't use this closet as a playroom, okay? You scared me. Eh, I wish you would play with me, Grandpa, and be an exotic traveler in a desert. Okay, okay. Here, get down. Eh? And just like that, Maruko's golden age has now ended. Maruko, if you want to have a bed of your own, why don't you just make one using boxes and magazines? Eh? Yeah, great idea. I'll make one and set it at the corner in the hallway. Start working right away and I'll create my bed. Yeah! Yeah! Maruko, put this over there. Right. Should I put some more books over there at the foot, Grandpa? Maruko, go and get two more cushions. Right. Hey, Mom, for the hundredth time, Maruko and Grandpa are doing something incredibly silly again. Shall I go stop them? Forget it. It's no use telling anything to that pair. Hi! Ah! I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> if only I could add a roof to this bed like the canopy one Hanawa-kun has. 
Huh? Maruko, what in the world are you doing? See, Mom? Doesn't it look super exotic? <sighs> hey, uh, just leave her be for now. <sighs> I'm worried about the future of a girl who leads her life so freely. It can't possibly be a good one. I finally obtained the life I've dreamed of. It really makes me feel like I'm in India. Is this really her image of India? Maruko's castle crumbled down with her nightmare. And all that was left behind was a pile of trash. Like smashed boxes and broken umbrellas, just like her broken dreams. Dad and Mom have a fight! Good morning. Ah, I'm sleepy. It looks like Dad and Mom are fighting big time. I hope it's nothing serious. Oh, say, Mom! Can we have some sushi for dinner tonight? Please, Mom? As you can see, a child knows how to test her parents to see how serious their fight is. Who says she isn't smart? Dad, are you going to have dinner at home tonight? No, I'm not. Dad, it looks like their fight isn't casual. It's actually quite serious. In any case, I just can't keep up with your silly way of thinking. It's exhausting to even try. Then we should just divorce. I agree. Hey, you guys! Calm down before you make any decisions. I mean, I don't know what happened. Good morning. <laughs> Sis, finally! <laughs> we got a big problem. They're going to divorce. What should we do? <sighs> It'll be all right. Those two didn't get married as a joke, okay? They love each other. We should leave them alone. How can you say we should leave them alone during a family crisis like this? Well, fine then. I'm leaving. Okay, suit yourself. She's leaving? No, please, Mom. You can't go. You stay here with me. I'll wait till you get home from school, okay? So get ready to go to school now. I can hardly concentrate on the lesson. Hey, you hardly concentrate on the lesson even when your mind is not in turmoil. It could be that today is the last chance for me to study in this class with all my good friends in school. Mary-chan, let's go and play outside. Oh, Tama-chan. No one's answering. No way. It could be that the house is empty. Mom. I have to leave. Maruko, I'm sorry. Maru-chan? Oh, no. Hey, what's wrong? Tama-chan, I might have to transfer schools. So thank you for being such a good friend to me. I'll let you know all of the details in my letter to you soon. I'm home! You're here. I called you earlier from school. Why didn't you answer? Because I didn't know. I was out running some errands, okay? Uh, hey, uh, Mom, are you really leaving us? Well, dear, it may happen soon, so you better prepare yourself. Which town are you going to move to? Well, I don't know yet. Maybe around Shizuoka at first. You shouldn't tell Grandpa and Grandma. They don't know yet. Yeah. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandma. Oh, what is it, Maruko? I can't tell you why, but I want to thank you for everything you've done. Uh, what's the matter? Something wrong? And I'll come to visit you guys sometime, okay? Maruko, 
Oh, my. What is she talking about this time? Not sure, but it makes my heart ache. Hey, sis. What now? You heard that Mom was leaving the house soon, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Sis, you're going to go with Mom and I as well, aren't you? No, I'll be choosing to stay with Dad. What's that? But Dad will just be staying in this house, right? You always know where he is. But Mom will go live somewhere else, and you won't know where. It's because I don't want to transfer schools. Plus, I think Dad will be more dependable financially. I can always find out where Mom is staying later on. Then, when they get divorced, our last names will become different. Don't be naive. If we get married, we would have different last names anyway. That's what usually happens. Leave me alone. You bug me. That means I'm going to be Kobayashi Momoko. Kobayashi. But will I get bullied when I transfer to a new school? I'm so worried. Hi, I'm Kobayashi Momoko. It's very nice to meet you all. Oh, hey, you look a bit like Momoe chan She does. Let's be friends. And you look smart, too. <laughs> Somehow, I'm beginning to feel excited about transferring schools. It's a good opportunity to start my life over again. In a new town. And a new school. With cool new friends. My dream can only get better and better. Hooray! Mom! Hey, Mom! Take a look at this brochure here. The rent for three bedrooms is just 25,000 yen. Oh, that sounds good. Why are you so thrilled again? Sis said that she'd be staying here with Dad and our grandparents, so that means I can have my own room, right? <laughs> oh, and Mom, I can also work part-time and deliver newspapers or something, so you don't need to worry, okay? <sighs> don't be silly. A big old sleepy head like you can't get up in time to deliver newspapers. I can do it! Oh, hey, sis. Teach me how to do this. Oh, well, you seem to be happy again. Somehow I began to feel okay. It's no use to just think negatively. I feel depressed, so leave me alone. Boy, you're no fun at all. All right, then maybe I'll go write a goodbye letter to Tama-chan before I sleep. <laughs> that night. You're still talking about that? I mentioned it for the sake of my family! Dad? Uh, Mom? Oh, I'm running out of patience with you. Well, you can run out of whatever you like. Well, then, I'm leaving. Suit yourself. It'll be refreshing. Uh, hey, Mom? Maruko, go and pack your things right away. But, Mom, wait. I promise to contact you later, okay? <laughs> Oh, boy. So the moment has finally arrived. Life is a real TV drama. Dad, he won't look this way. I'm going to leave the only room I've known. That stain on the wall. I like it because it looks like an elephant head. Oh, the lily yarn. Sis hasn't taught me how to do it yet. Textbooks and school stuff. I need to put them in my bag. Oh, and I can't forget to bring my treasured items. Things I just can't ever replace. Buy me that, Dad! <laughs> Ruruko, do you really want to have this? What a silly girl. Oh, my Dad. <laughs> Dad. Hey, don't go that way. Right. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is fun. <laughs> Dad. Maruko loves you so much, Dad. I love 
love you. Uh, it's impossible to choose. Dad, Mom, Dad, Mom, Dad, Mom. Ruko. <laughs> everyone eggs with a big smile on her face. Ah, good morning. Weren't you leaving, Mom? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Both Dad and I have reflected on our behavior. So what was the reason for your big fight? If you must know. <laughs> your dad insisted on buying this useless exercise machine thing. It was over an impulse buy? We shed so many tears for what? You guys should really get divorced soon. Yes, we'll take care of ourselves from now on. No way! At the same time, the dramatic farewell letter Maruko mailed has reached Tama-chan. She is the one who shed the most useless tears over this incident. <laughs> 